Kesha? I mean, he, he was stuck at viewers and then he blew up from screaming. Yeah, the, he kind of blew up from TikTok. Because people like screaming stuff. Yo, the Nunu was broken, bro. It's a beast, man. This guy's a beast, bro. I like him. I don't care what anybody says. At the end of the day, I'll say this about Kesha. And all of you will have to agree. The guy puts in more effort and energy into the streams than literally 95% of content creators. And you have to respect that, genuinely. You might not like his content. You might not like the whole screaming act, whatever it is. But you have to respect the fact that the guy is a hard worker. I was, I was, I was, eight, eight. No, no, ma, mama. <laughs> what the fuck? What? There's no one there, he's bluffing. There's no one there, there's no one there. Yoke, 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 yoke. This is how Screaming made Kesha EUW famous. Charlie Erickson, or better known by his streaming name Kesha EUW, is a Twitch streamer who has garnered a significant following over the past year. He originally began his journey on Twitch by streaming League of Legends, which is still his most streamed game. But with his energetic personality, with this new engaging content that he has started making, he has managed to attract a loyal fan base who enjoy watching him play video games and interacting with his viewers. However, even though Kesha is a Twitch streamer, his rise to fame wasn't just limited to Twitch. He also utilized other social media platforms like YouTube Shorts and TikTok to promote his brand to reach a wider audience. Through TikTok, through this short form content, he was able to make attention grabbing clips with his large displays of energy that showcased his personality and as well as his gaming skill. He was able to attract viewers who have might not otherwise found him on Twitch and these clips often went viral, garnering millions of views and exposing him to a whole new audience. Examples of these clips can be where he was, we'll just leave it as, Dancing. Ah, shiny dark plane. Another example is him putting a chair on his back, pretending it's a helicopter. Helicopter for five gifted subs. What the fuck? Okay, five gifted. That's five gifted. That's five gifted. That's five. Other examples: him interacting with a microwave. His ability to use anything in his environment or just his personality in general to create engaging content is what led to his success. He continues to make more and more of these clips, showcasing that he, yes, can indeed play League of Legends, but mainly it's a showcase of his personality, and that's what has gained him even more followers. His ability to market himself effectively, creating this engaging content that can get millions of views and bring over people to his Switch channel, is what played to his significant role in his success on Twitch. He's now sitting at around 250,000 followers and he has managed to establish a strong personal brand and connect with his viewers on a deeper level. That's led to this loyal following continued growth. By utilizing social platforms like YouTube Shorts and TikTok, he has been able to reach a wider audience and expand his influence beyond Twitch. In conclusion, Kesha's rise in the streaming community can be attributed to him really being the pioneer of TikTok. He's really the first one that we've seen use TikTok to grow himself in such a way. And with with his never-ending energy, that personality, and the effective use of social media marketing. Through his hard work and dedication, he has built a strong personal brand and established himself as a prominent figure in the gaming and streaming community. Overall, Kesha is a dub. It's happening! It's happening! Oh my good lord in heaven! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and everything that is holy! I've only gone and done it! I've only gone and done it! It's a Kesha gap! I'm flashing, I'm flashing, I'm flashing. I've entered it, I've griefed it, I've griefed it. Please die, please die. 
Look at my damage, look at my damage, look at my body, look at my body, look at my chest, look at my chest. Look at it, look at the Kaiser, look at the Kaiser. Is that normal? Does this look normal to you, Twitch chat? Does this look normal? I got ghosted. Looks, 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 I know you're ghosting, looks, looks, I know you're ghosting. I fucked your mom without a condom. You know and I nutted in her. And we together went to not get a pill, you're getting a brother. I'm gonna be your dad. Jungle diff, you don't know how to jerk off. You have no idea how to pull back your foreskin. You don't know how to release semen onto your fucking landing strip of your fucking stomach. You are st you are genuinely just fucking brain damaged. You are bra you are. If you think that's Jungle diff, you are so fucking brain damaged. You are so fucking stupid. You are ge genuinely fucking stupid. Have you ever been tested? I have never had a doctor check on my cock. Because I'm scared that I'm gonna get a boner, man or woman. Like, I, I have like nerves that uh, if they're touched, it, boing, 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 it just goes up. Imagine you go into a doctor and you just get a boner. That would be so awkward. That would be, yeah, same, yeah. Uh, it has been like this ever since I was like a kid, okay? I have always thought about this. True, you, you're not, I'm not wrong here. I'm not wrong here, I'm never wrong. I wouldn't say something that's wrong.